Renowned for his rugged appearance and enchanting charisma, Robert Mitchum made a significant impact in the film industry through his unforgettable roles. However, few knew of the profound personal battles he faced off-screen. His tumultuous journey was marred by inner demons and relentless strife, all while attempting to discover solace amidst his burgeoning fame. This is the bittersweet account of a talented yet troubled soul, a man whose on-screen prowess was often eclipsed by the shadows lurking in his private life. Through both triumph and tribulation, Mitchum persevered, leaving behind a rich legacy still admired today. Let us delve into the complexities of this remarkable individual's experiences. Robert Mitchum, born on August 6, 1917, in Bridgeport, Connecticut, was an American actor and singer who made a significant impact in the golden age of Hollywood. Known for his rugged looks, deep voice, and laid-back demeanor, he quickly became one of the most recognizable faces in the industry. Growing up, Mitchum had a difficult childhood, moving around frequently due to his father's work as a machinist in the railroad industry. Despite these challenges, Mitchum discovered a love for performing at a young age, often putting on shows for his family and neighbors. After dropping out of high school, Mitchum worked a series of odd jobs before eventually turning to acting. He started out working in theater productions, where he honed his craft and developed his signature style. His breakout role came in 1945 when he starred in the story of G.I. Joe, which earned him critical acclaim and solidified his status as a rising talent. Mitchum's career spanned several decades, during which time he appeared in numerous films and television shows. Some of his most memorable roles include Out of the Past, Cape Fear, and The Night of the Hunter. In addition to his work as an actor, Mitchum also pursued a successful music career, releasing several albums throughout his lifetime. Despite facing personal struggles and controversies throughout his life, Mitchum remained a beloved figure in Hollywood until his passing in 1997. Today, he is remembered not only for his impressive body of work, but also for his unique persona and lasting influence on the industry. In the picturesque town of Bridgeport, Connecticut, Robert Mitchum was born as the second child of a hardworking railroad employee. But sorrow struck when he was merely a year and a half old, his father passed away, plunging the family into uncertainty. Displaying immense courage, Robert's mother Anne gave birth to her third child shortly afterward, resolute to keep her family afloat amidst adversity. Anne, now a widow and responsible for three young children, sought stability by moving in with her own mother. Together, they faced the daunting challenge of making ends meet through sheer determination and relentless effort. Despite being dealt a difficult hand so early in life, these experiences would later shape the actor's perspective and career. Robert Mitchum's early years were marked by challenges and turbulence. With minimal parental oversight, he turned into a rebellious figure known for his defiance and mischief. His youthful spirit often got him into trouble, leading to frequent scuffles and confrontations. However, beneath this wild exterior lay a surprising talent waiting to be uncovered. At just nine years old, Mitchum stumbled upon his gift for poetry. This discovery served as a turning point in his life, offering a creative outlet amidst the chaos. Soon enough, his poems began gaining recognition from those around him. Eventually, they caught the attention of local newspapers who decided to publish some of his works. This publication brought more than mere acknowledgement for the young artist. Alongside it came an opportunity for a newspaper interview accompanied by a photograph, quite an unusual occurrence for someone so young during those times. Not only did these events highlight Mitchum's undeniable literary abilities, but they also provided a glimmer of hope amidst his challenging upbringing. Thus, even before stepping onto the silver screen, the future movie star had already made waves with his words, foreshadowing a successful career filled with compelling performances. As a young boy, Robert Mitchum experienced a significant change in his life when his mother remarried a British journalist, leading to the family's relocation to New York City. Specifically, they settled in the rough neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen. Just 10 years old at the time, Mitchum found himself in the midst of a bustling city environment, far removed from the quieter surroundings he was accustomed to. Despite facing numerous challenges adjusting to his new home, Mitchum remained committed to his education. He enrolled in a local school, and quickly became known for his rebellious behavior, often finding himself involved in physical altercations on a daily basis. However, despite these external conflicts, Mitchum discovered a deep passion for intellectual pursuits during this period. Embracing solitude, Mitchum would frequently retreat from the chaos around him and immerse himself in the works of some of literature's greatest minds. 
from the poetic verses of William Wordsworth to the dramatic tales spun by William Shakespeare, Mitchum found comfort and inspiration in these timeless stories. In particular, he developed a profound appreciation for the novels of Joseph Conrad, whose vivid descriptions of seafaring adventures resonated deeply with the actor. Throughout his formative years, Mitchum continued to cultivate his love for literature, allowing it to shape his perspective and fuel his imagination. These early experiences played a crucial role in shaping the person he would become, both personally and professionally, as he embarked on a successful career in Hollywood. At the tender age of 14, Robert Mitchum decided to take an adventurous path, embarking on a remarkable journey that would last for five years. This young man, eager to explore the world beyond his years, chose to falsify his age to secure a position as a sailor. His audacious spirit led him to navigate the vast oceans, encountering numerous experiences that shaped his character and perspective. Throughout those years, Mitchum engaged in various tasks aboard ships, constantly learning and growing through his adventures. However, fate eventually caught up with him when his actual age was uncovered, leading to his dismissal from the sailing profession. Despite being let go, his thirst for exploration remained unquenchable, having tasted the thrill of life outside the confines of his familiar surroundings. This early escapade served as a testament to the actor's daring nature, foreshadowing the many risks he would willingly embrace throughout his career both on and off screen. Though it may have seemed like an unlikely start for someone who later became known for his stoic demeanor and commanding presence on camera, these youthful exploits allowed him to cultivate an air of quiet confidence that defined his work as an artist. However, trouble followed the actor early in life. In Savannah, Georgia, just before he turned 16, he faced accusations of vagrancy. This led to his apprehension and forced servitude on a harsh chain gang. Life was brutal and the conditions were dire. He had to endure the hardships imposed upon him, fighting against starvation and dealing with infected wounds. Yet, through sheer will and determination, he orchestrated a daring escape. After months of hardship, he finally made his way back home, a testament to his resilience and spirit. After serving time in jail, Robert Mitchum began his road to recovery. During this period, his brother John introduced him to a young girl named Dorothy, who was just 14 at the time. Love bloomed between the two, and Robert made a promise to return for her when he had settled down. However, true to form, the actor continued his nomadic lifestyle over the next couple of years, traveling from one job to another, even attempting to make it as a boxer. Eventually, his travels brought him to California, where his sister Julie worked in the bustling theater industry. Little did he know, this move would set the stage for his future career in Hollywood. In the early days of his career, Robert Mitchum found support and inspiration in an unexpected place from his daughter Julie. Her enthusiasm encouraged him to try out acting, leading him to audition for her theater group. From then on, he became deeply involved in various aspects of stagecraft, demonstrating exceptional talent in acting, writing, and directing. Among these areas, his skills in writing stood out, quickly catching the eye of Hollywood executives. This marks the start of the actor's illustrious journey through cinema, leaving behind a rich collection of timeless films. As we delve deeper into discussing his accomplishments, it becomes clear how his work continues to resonate even today. Without a doubt, his influence transcends time, remaining relevant and cherished by many generations of moviegoers. Growing up in a bustling family, young Robert discovered the enchantment of storytelling, eventually shaping his interest in creating captivating stories for both stage and screen. His unique ability to etch intriguing characters has left an indelible mark in the landscape of American classics, further solidifying his position as a revered figure in the industry. In the early years of Robert Mitchum's career, his ambitions leaned more towards writing than acting. Eager to establish himself as a reliable source of income for his growing family, he proposed to his girlfriend Dorothy, and they soon welcomed their first child together. With dreams of becoming a successful screenwriter, the young family put down roots in sunny Southern California. However, when Robert's writing aspirations didn't pan out financially, he was forced to take on a manual labor job at Lockheed to make ends meet. Despite these setbacks, he continued to pursue his true love, acting on the side. This determination would eventually lead him to become one of Hollywood's most beloved leading men. Through hard work and perseverance, Robert Mitchum overcame early struggles to find stability and success in Tinseltown. Only time would tell if this budding actor could turn his passions into a thriving career. But for now, he remained focused on honing his craft and supporting his loved ones. 
After lying about his ability to handle horses, Robert Mitchum found himself on the set of a Hopalong Cassidy movie in 1943. His confidence paid off when he successfully tamed a wild bucking bronco, making it his first appearance in a film. That same year, he graced the screens in eight Hopalong Cassidy films and nine other movies, taking on different character roles. By the next year, the actor had already signed a contract with RPO, solidifying his place in Hollywood. This marked the beginning of a successful career for Robert Mitchum, who would go on to become a beloved figure in the world of cinema. In 1944, Robert Mitchum was cast opposite Gary Cooper in the war drama, The Story of G.I. Joe. This marked a significant turning point in the actor's career. His portrayal of the character left a lasting impression, earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. This recognition propelled him into the upper echelons of Hollywood's leading men. Prior to this, he had been working as a supporting player in various films since the early 1940s. However, it wasn't until the story of G.I. Joe that he truly captured the attention of both audiences and industry professionals alike. This classic film served as a launchpad for his successful career in the years to come. Indeed, this was just the beginning for the talented Robert Mitchum. However, in 1948, the actor found himself in serious trouble when he was arrested for possessing marijuana during a Hollywood sting operation. This incident shook his career to its core, and he openly declared it ruined. The public reaction was intense, but through it all, his wife Dorothy stood firmly by his side. Urkio, the studio that employed him, also supported him during this difficult time. Fans rallied around the actor, refusing to let the scandal define him. This solidarity helped pave the way for a triumphant return to work, allowing him to reclaim his place in the film industry. During the late 1940s, when the influential producer Howard Hughes took over Irsio, he found a favorite in Robert Mitchum. The actor quickly became a staple of RKO's films, often sharing the screen with the lovely Jane Russell, another one of Hughes's favorites. Together, they starred in some of Erkio's most memorable productions throughout the 1950s. Mitchum's rugged good looks and brooding demeanor made him a natural fit for the Western and crime genres that dominated Erkio's output during this time. He brought a sense of authenticity and intensity to every role, elevating the material and making even the most formulaic scripts feel fresh and engaging. His collaborations with Russell were particularly successful, thanks in large part to their undeniable chemistry and easy rapport. One of their most famous collaborations was the classic western His Kind of Woman, which showcased Mitchum's trademark charm and swagger. In it, he played a gambler who gets mixed up with a group of gangsters while hiding out in Mexico. Throughout the film, he exudes confidence and charisma, delivering witty lines with a sly grin and handling action scenes with ease. Russell plays a glamorous nightclub singer who becomes entangled in Mitchum's web of intrigue, providing plenty of opportunities for banter and flirtation between the two stars. Another standout collaboration was Macau, a taut thriller set in the exotic port city of the same name. Once again, Mitchum played a man on the run from trouble, this time pursued by both the police and a dangerous gangster. Russell co-starred as a sultry lounge singer caught up in the chaos, adding yet another layer of complexity to the already convoluted plot. Despite its labyrinthine storyline, the film remains compelling thanks to the strong performances of its leads and the evocative atmosphere created by director Josef von Sternberg. Overall, Mitchum's partnership with Hughes and Archeo proved to be a fruitful one, resulting in several classic films that continue to captivate audiences today. Whether playing charming rogues or tough guys with hearts of gold, Mitchum always delivered, cementing his status as one of Hollywood's most reliable leading men. And through it all, he remained a consummate professional respected by colleagues and fans alike for his talent, dedication, and unwavering commitment to his craft. Renowned for his rebellious image, Robert Mitchum's personal life was often marked by scandals and controversies. Allegations of infidelity, physical altercations, and even drug possession followed the actor throughout his career. Yet, these incidents seemed to fuel his mystique rather than hinder it. His bad boy reputation only added to his appeal, making him one of Hollywood's most intriguing figures. In 1962, Mitchum took on a role that would further cement his place in cinema history, Cape Fear. Paired with fellow acting great Gregory Peck, this psychological thriller became an instant classic. Its tense plot and powerful performances have stood the test of time, remaining relevant and engaging even today. Throughout the 1960s, Mitchum continued to work steadily, appearing in numerous films and television shows. 
Each project showcased his unique blend of rugged masculinity and smoldering intensity, which had become his trademark style. Despite the controversies surrounding his public image, there was no denying his talent or his impact on American culture. This classic actor proved time and again that a compelling story can resonate deeply with audiences, regardless of the narrator's personal flaws. In the late 1960s, Robert Mitchum's career began to gain renewed momentum. This classic actor, who had already established himself as a Hollywood stalwart during the previous decades, was about to embark on a series of notable roles that would solidify his status as a living legend. During the 1970s, Mitchum delivered exceptional performances in several films. He starred in Farewell, My Lovely in 1975, capturing audiences with his portrayal of Philip Marlowe, a private detective navigating a web of crime and deceit. His performance brought new life to the character originally played by Humphrey Bogart in the 1944 adaptation of Raymond Chandler's novel. A few years later, Mitchum took on another iconic role in The Last Tycoon, directed by Elia Kazan and based on F. Scott Fitzgerald's unfinished novel. Set against the backdrop of 1930s Hollywood, the movie featured Mitchum as Pat Brady, a powerful studio executive vying for control in an industry rife with ambition and corruption. Mitchum also appeared in a television production of The Big Sleep in 1978. Returning to the character of Philip Marlowe after nearly four decades since the original film version, he proved that age couldn't diminish his ability to inhabit complex characters seamlessly. By the time the 1980s rolled around, technology might have changed how movies were made, but it didn't change the demand for seasoned actors like Mitchum. He made memorable camos throughout the decade, first appearing in Bill Murray's holiday comedy Scrooged in 1988. Here, Mitchum played Lou Hayward, a cynical businessman serving as Scrooge's ghostly mentor. Next up, Mitchum faced off against Robert De Niro in Martin Scorsese's chilling remake of Cape Fear as Max Cady De Niro terrorizes Sam Bowden, played by Nick Nolte. But even amidst these powerhouse performers, Mitchum held his own in his small yet impactful role as Lieutenant Elgar. Finally, rounding out his illustrious career, Mitchum joined Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, and others in Tombstone. Playing the lawman Virgil Earp, brother to Wyatt Earp, Mitchum added gravitas to an already impressive cast. Despite being one of the oldest members of the ensemble, he more than held his own among younger stars. Indeed, Robert Mitchum remained relevant despite changing times, a testament to both his longevity and talent. From hard-boiled detectives to weary executives, troubled sheriffs to haunting specters, Mitchum demonstrated immense range and depth over his lengthy career. Even when he wasn't the lead, he left an indelible mark on every project he touched, making him a true living legend until his passing in 1997. Renowned actor Robert Mitchum received many awards during his illustrious career which spanned over five decades. In 1991, he was honored by the National Board of Review of Motion Pictures with their Lifetime Achievement Award. This recognition came after years of dedication to the craft and countless unforgettable performances. The following year, Mitchum was presented with another esteemed award, the prestigious Cecil B. DeMille Award at the Golden Globe Awards. Established to recognize outstanding contributions to the world of entertainment, this accolade further cemented Mitchum's place among Hollywood royalty. Throughout his career, he had graced both big and small screens, delivering captivating portrayals that left indelible marks on audiences worldwide. Receiving these two distinguished recognitions one after another underscored Mitchum's lasting impact on cinema. He continued to remain active in the industry until his passing in 1997, leaving behind a rich legacy of work cherished by generations of moviegoers. His films and TV shows continue to enthrall viewers even today, standing testament to his remarkable talent and enduring charm. Indeed, Robert Mitchum's influence transcends time, making him a timeless icon in the annals of American cinema. On July 1, 1997, the entertainment industry lost one of its most compelling figures when Robert Mitchum passed away at the age of 79 due to complications from lung cancer and empyema. This acclaimed actor left behind a rich tapestry of work and memories, having made an indelible mark on both cinema and television. Throughout his career, which spanned over six decades, Mitchum captivated audiences with his signature brand of effortless cool and nuanced performances. His undeniable talent earned him numerous accolades, including four Academy Award nominations. Yet beyond his professional achievements, Mitchum was also known for his unique personality traits. Biographer Mike Tonkies described him as a remarkably complex individual, 
a label that seems fitting given the many facets of Mitchum's character. A sensitive poet and astute intellectual, he possessed an eidetic memory that allowed him to recall lines from films verbatim years after their release. However, Mitchum wasn't all seriousness. He could often be found playing practical jokes on set and reveling in his reputation as a nonconformist outsider. These qualities endeared him to fans worldwide, making him more than just a talented performer, but rather a beloved cultural icon. Mitchum's legacy extends far beyond his acting prowess. He leaves behind a body of work that continues to resonate with each passing generation. From gritty crime dramas like Out of the Past to light-hearted musical comedies such as Heaven Knows, Mr. Allison, Mitchum proved himself capable of tackling diverse roles with equal finesse. Even today, viewers cannot help but step into these classics and find themselves transported back to an era where cinematic storytelling held sway over special effects and spectacle. As we reflect upon the life and times of Robert Mitchum, it becomes apparent how deeply intertwined his personal journey is with the evolution of American popular culture. Despite being taken from us too soon, his impact remains etched onto celluloid, serving as a testament to his remarkable career and unforgettable presence. And so, while Mitchum may no longer physically grace our screens, his spirit lives on through his timeless contributions to the world of entertainment. Robert Mitchum was more than just a leading man in Hollywood's golden age, he embodied a unique blend of cool charisma and raw intensity that set him apart from his peers. His career spanned over five decades, during which time he became known for his unforgettable performances in both films and television shows. Throughout his illustrious career, Mitchum never shied away from taking on challenging roles. He played complex characters with depth and nuance, often subverting audience expectations and breaking free from traditional leading man stereotypes. From brooding anti heroes to charming rogues, Mitchum brought a certain gravitas to every performance that made him impossible to ignore. One of Mitchum's most notable qualities was his ability to make each role his own. Rather than adhere to a specific formula or play to type, he approached each character with fresh eyes and a willingness to explore their innermost thoughts and emotions. This approach allowed him to deliver some truly mesmerizing performances that have stood the test of time. Despite his many accolades and successes, Mitchum remained humble and grounded throughout his life. He had a deep respect for the craft of acting and took pride in delivering authentic, compelling performances. Even as he aged, Mitchum continued to push himself creatively, refusing to rest on his laurels or become complacent in his artistry. As we say goodbye to this classic actor, it's worth reflecting on the lasting impact he had on the world of cinema. Mitchum's work will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come, serving as a reminder of what makes movie magic so special. So here's to Robert Mitchum, a true iconoclast whose legacy will live on for